What a win. Still not, still not a big win, but Habs win. 2-0 over the Calgary Flames. Yeah, it was against a Calgary team that was a little tired, I would say, especially after that monster of a game, behemoth of a game versus the Edmonton Oilers, you know, Zach Cassian, Matthew Kachuk, all those type of things going on. But still, the Habs at this point uh, will take two points where they can get them. Yeah, it was against a Calgary team that was a little tired, I would say, especially after that monster of a game, behemoth of a game versus the Edmonton Oilers, you know, Zach Cassian, Matthew Kachuk, all those type of things going on. But still, the Habs at this point uh, will take two points where they can get them. Going down right to it, though. Big save, Dave Redditch goes against Carey Price, who after this game has a 9.35 save percentage in January. Again, the moment I start calling him out, mm, there we go, it just turns it around. Story of his career, as Elliot Freeman would say, is proving people wrong. He was great tonight with Carey Price. Gets his second shot out of the season and the 46th of his career. That ties him third all-time in Habs history. I mean, he wasn't that busy, I'd say, for the first half of this game, but then the second half, you know, including that great save on Johnny Goudreau, uh, started picking up for old CP. I mean, he wasn't that busy, I'd say, for the first half of this game, but then the second half, you know, including that great save on Johnny Goudreau, uh, started picking up for old CP. But going period to period, of course. The first frame of this game was probably Montreal's best of the season. In all of regulation versus the Ottawa Senators, the Habs had 17 shots. Well, guess what? They matched that shot total by the end of the first period in this game. At first, I think a lot of Habs fans thought it's the same old story. There's going to be a lot of hard work from this team. Well, can't score on the power play. Maybe it's just going to be another one of those they just can't score. But the hard work pays off. Jeff Petrie goes for a wraparound, doesn't quite go in, rebound though, Jordan Wheel pulls off the spinorama move, and that guy buries it, the real deal, Jordan Wheel puts the Habs up 1-0. And who else got the assist on that goal? Oh, it was the Dutch Gretzky, Dale Weiss, who, you know, probably isn't a full-time NHLer anymore, but still, he has a place in Habs fans' hearts forever, especially, you get reminded of it when the Habs play Milan Lucic, who we all kind of forget is a Calgary Flame, but oh my god, uh, skipping ahead, we'll come back to the second in that, but that hit that Kale Fleury laid on Milan Lucic is going to be, I think, just if, if you could have a GIF as a screensaver on your phone, I think I would make it that hit, because oh my god, was it just... Ah, you forget until, you know, Lina Milan Lucci gets on the ice. And you forget about all the crappy polls are brewing, you know, the whole Dale Weiss handshake fiasco. I mean, ah, back when, you know, Milan Lucci was a threat in this league, you know, scoring and physically. Ah, it felt so good to see Kale just lay him out. <laughs> but anyway, beside Petrie, Wheel, all that kind of stuff, nothing else happens in the first period. The story is really the same when you get to the second period. Just non-stop pressure by the Montreal Canadiens. Just fantastic to see the Flames clearly don't have the energy they have. Again, the game against Calgary, you're going to give your all for this. And, you know, they didn't even start Cam Talbot in that game. And so then against the Habs, they played Dave Riddich again, which I didn't think was probably the best move. But regardless, hey, I appreciate they didn't play their backup versus the Canadians. You know, a bit of respect there, but... You know, probably, oh, you can't even really blame Dave Rich. Probably should have been the first star of this game himself. The way he kept Calgary in this game, but still, mm. Calgary do start getting some more juice in the second half of the second, but I will say, Carey Price, not very busy. But when he had to make some saves in this game, yeah, he made them all right. Now, the third's a bit weird to talk about, because uh, I actually have a class on Monday that goes 6 to 9 p.m., so, uh, while well, trying to pay attention to this documentary class, you know, where we're watching this thing on documentary makings and all that. I'm also trying to pay attention to the Habs game. But uh, fortunately, I got to watch the first two periods in class. But then the third, I was on my way home, didn't get to see it. I did watch the highlight, of course, where I got to see the previously mentioned Kale Flurry hit. But also, Ryan Paling in his first goal of the season, his first since that beautiful game against the Leafs last year, waits out Dave Riddich. And even Big Save Dave was like, help me out here guys he was not happy about that but still gives montreal insurance marker there and the flames do not bury anything for the rest of this game thanks to that beautiful man right there and the habs won their second straight game which i can't remember the last time they did that it may have been on yeah it was the western canadian road trip and how long ago does that feel like just a bit of post-game fun when uh, the video on Twitter about the Habs, you know, all coming back into the room, celebrating and all that, and you just see a bunch of the player, Yoel Armia, Jonathan Drew, and Brendan Gallagher, who with all his, the reported headaches that 
apparently aren't related to the concussion or they can't really tell. Um, all of those guys being there must be huge. I remember Bergevin was saying, or Eric Engels, that if the Habs can stay, I think it was exactly seven points out of a spot or within a spot, by the all-star break, if they could get all their injured players back, your Byrons, Druins, Armias, Gallagher's, all that, that, you know, maybe with a trade that's impactful, not just I like Marco Scandella, but more than that, the Habs can still have a chance to make it into the playoffs with a wild card spot. I'm not putting all my hopes and dreams on it, but I mean, here they are. Just about seven points out. They play the Blackhawks. Charlie Lindgren will be in net tonight. So, you know, a Chicago Blackhawks team that is underperforming the past few years. Maybe, you know, Lindgren gets hot. The boys play hard. Kovalchuk keeps being Kovalchuk. Then they go on to play, I believe, the Flyers. Uh, just remember that as soon as I started to type out who it was. Who have just lost their starter, Cutter Hart, for two to three weeks. Mm hmm that's a game that you have a chance to win. Vegas on Saturday, who just fired their head coach, which was so dumb. You know, they're going to be working hard. And, you know, Match Pacioretty will be playing even harder because he'll be returning to Montreal, of course, for the second time. I'll be at that game. So, again, that's at home Saturday night. You think the atmosphere is going to be there for the building. Maybe Yoel Armia, who is skating in practice and line rotations, will be there. Maybe the Habs, of course, Bergevin said he's waiting for the All-Star break to make a decision. Maybe the Habs go on a bit of a run here. And, you know, maybe there's a Martinez trade, maybe it's a Foley trade, and boom, the Habs could be back in it. Again, Carey Price gets hotter, mm, Shea Weber could just be him, am I, you know, I thought I wouldn't get my hopes up too much about this year, you know, since the lose second eight-game winless streak, but I don't know, there's a chance. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for today, of course. Tonight, Chicago, Montreal, let's go Wednesday. No, it's not Wednesday, is it? Yeah, it is Wednesday. Wednesday night, Scotiabank Hockey, Sportsnet. Hopefully they get, you know, John Bartlett getting the call. Maybe not Gary Galley for play-by-play -play for, for color. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like, share it, subscribe to it, put the notification bell on, to, you know, so you know any time that uh, I upload one of these videos. And I will see you after the Chicago Blackhawks game.